What's up, y'all? I'm Black Talent Sport. And in today's video, uh, it might be a little bit of a touchy one, but, you know, it's something that came up, so we got to get through it. All right, today's video is definitely, we're going to be talking about catch cans. We're going to be re-evaluating catch cans. Do they work? What do they work towards? And uh, we're also going to talk about um, the issue that came up uh once um once the my intake manifold was off getting my injectors changed over at brooklyn motors we're going to look at what they found and what they found is quite interesting it really made me rethink catch cans and the the operation and you know what they prevent what they don't prevent so today we're going to get we're going to dive right into that subject all right so stick around for the catch can uh, functionality video. All right. All right. Um, now if you haven't already, I want to please remind you guys to, um, smash the like button, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell to get notified when I come out, uh, with these videos. I want to thank you guys for continuing to support this channel it means a lot to me we're steadily growing and i really appreciate that now while bullet warms up i'm going to take this time out to explain as to why i'm making this video and so forth and so on all right now um i'm a firm believer in catch cans you know it's um as i said in the previous video there's one of the reasons um, why I was interested in the 3.5 EcoBoost Gen 1 is because I knew that I could get a catch can to counteract um, what I believed would be a carbon deposit buildup. Um, so that's why I got the can. I, I purchased the can before I even crossed over um, 3,000 miles. So that's almost immediately. Um, and... I basically have had the catch can ever since. I, I just, you know, well now I'm at uh, 151,000 miles. Um, so the catch can has been there all the while. But, um, you know, I, I had to, I'm, I'm reevaluating the effectiveness of it, or at least what my understanding was of the functionality of the catch can. All right. Um, so basically, yeah, while. The car was at um, Brooklyn Motors getting my injectors changed. Felix gave me a call. And uh, actually, Alex, I'm sorry. Um, Eric gave me a call and uh, told me to look at the text that Felix sent me. And I looked at the text and this is what I found. My valves were in bad shape. They were caked with, as you can see, um, carbon deposits. Um, cylinder number one was the worst. Well, I don't know if it was the worst, but cylinder number one looked significantly different than the others. Cylinder number one was wet. Hence, uh, the open, the stuck open fuel injector, while the others were dry, but carbon, carbon, carbon deposits all over it. And I basically was baffled at that because my understanding was that the catch can will prevent that. <laughs> so you can imagine, you know, what was running through my mind when I looked at these photos. Um, you know, it, immediately I, I felt like UPR um, uh, had some answer, had, had to answer some questions. <laughs> you know, I was I was this close to calling them or sending them an email, not an angry one. I'm not that type of person. But to get some answers, because to my knowledge, um, a catch can prevents carbon deposits from building up on the valves. Um, and and, and I, I know I'm not the only one. There was quite a few. I mean, almost everybody. There was quite a few people that had that same um, misunderstanding. Uh, what it's effective at is separating the positive separating oil out of what comes out of the um, PCV system. It collects it 
and stores it in the can. My can works. Every oil change, every 5,000 miles, my can is either three quarters away full or full. So it's definitely doing that. Um, hence, that's why the valves, uh, they look pretty much dry, you know? So you don't, you, won't, you don't see any oil caked up in there. It's all carbon deposits from obviously a direct, in, uh, direct injection vehicle. So, you know, how could this be prevented? Port fuel injection. Unfortunately, Gen 1 is only direct injected. Gen 2, you guys got it as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, Gen 2 has both direct and port fuel injection. The port fuel injection part is so important for preventing the carbon deposits from building up on the valves. And I wish, I really wish there was a company that made a, uh, a secondary port fuel injection kit that you can add in. Pretty much like um, what they, what some companies make for the um, the MK5 Supra, the A90 A91. Yeah, there's a nice port fuel injection kit that you can add on the B58. Really like that motor, man. I, more and more that I look at it and think about it, I really like the B58 that comes in the Supras. You know, I'm, I'm a diehard Toyota fan. I used to own a Supra, so you know, never mind the fact that BMW is pretty much a BMW. I don't care. It's a Supra to me. <laughs> but port fuel injection is something that's needed to prevent the carbon deposits from building up on the valves because the the fuel um, port fuel injection spraying the fuel spraying on the valves is what keeps the valves clean of the carbon deposits not the catch can the catch can doesn't prevent carbon deposits from building up obviously you know the, forget about what I what I learned <laughs> or what I heard what I heard other people say or what I my knowledge was you know unfortunately it doesn't do that and getting back to UPR now what prevented me from causing any sort of ruckus is I say, you know what, let me check their website. Let me see what the information that they list for this catch can. Because if that, if, if, if the information there says anything along the lines of preventing carbon deposits, then I would have got on the horn. Say, listen, um, you know, <laughs> this ain't preventing carbon deposits from building up on my valves. <laughs> but what it said, it, it, everything that it said, and I'm paraphrasing, is along the lines of oil, separating the oil from being um, recirculated back into the intake. It's doing that. And obviously it is. I have proof of it. So I was like, well, you know, I, I stand corrected. The catch can does not prevent carbon deposits from building up on the valves. It, what it does is it collects everything that the, the PCV system would have recirculated to be reintroduced back into the motor. It collects that and stores it in the can. So that's what it's been doing and it, it does that very well, I must say that. All right, so what, well, bullet's nice and warm now, so let me go and scoop up the family. So basically, what's what's the fix? Uh, what Felix did was he did a warm-up blasting, carb cleaning. He did a phenomenal job, man. Oh my God, so I mean, I'll, I'll put up the pictures. I mean, that's like night and day. And I'm, I'm just, once again, you know, I'm so thankful for uh, the team over at um, Brooklyn Motors Inc., man. I'm telling you, if they had not done that for me, then, you know, I don't know. Because if I would have did the injector uh, replacement myself, I, I would have had to have left those valves because I, I don't have any means of being able to do that. And then the labor would have been way more because you know, they was already in there taking out the injector, so the intake manifold was already off. So it would have cost me more. All right, so that's going to be the the, uh, the end of this video. I just I just had to you know clear this up, man. And, my understanding was wrong 
And uh, just in case yours was wrong as well, you know, hey, we can all learn together, all right? So I would like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and also um, you can, uh, if you wanna buy some merch, you can see my Teespring listing in the description below. And also it's, uh, it's, it's in my cover photo, the bottom right of my cover photo. There's a link there and the logo just pressed on the Teespring logo. And also the um, the Patreon, if you would like to support this channel monetarily, you can do that there as well. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day and peace out.